Hello and welcome to another video looking at histograms. Here um, again we're going to be looking at um, interpreting histograms by finding out what uh, missing frequencies and also um, completing an incomplete histogram. Um, so our first step to um, interpret a histogram is to first of all take a look at um, a bar that we know the value of. So this first bar, this first bar we're told is worth 30. Um, and so the first step really is to break it down into smaller, more manageable boxes. So we know that this whole thing in total is worth 30. Um, so what I can say is that each of the boxes is going to be worth 10 each. Um, from this I can then go about starting to um, calculate the missing frequencies and also completing the table. So let's take a look at um, this uh, bar here. So here we're looking to find out what the frequency is. So I'm just going to split this into um, the smaller boxes that we've um, just found out about. So we know that each of these boxes are going to be worth um, 10 each. And what we can see so far is that we've got um, 8 of them. We've got eight full boxes. Um, so so far we've got eighty, but then at the top we've got this little problem. We've we've only got part of the bar, um, and more specifically we've got a fifth of the bar. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a little box up here to kind of illustrate what we can do um, to solve this little little issue that we've got. Now. I know that one of these boxes that I'm just drawing at the moment are worth 10. Um, but we've only got part of it. We've got this little amount down the bottom here. What we could what we could do is we could say, okay, well this is its own little histogram in itself if we like. We can say that this bit here is worth 10. We need to figure out um, what each of the smaller parts are worth. So first of all, let's work out how many there are of these smaller parts. Well, there are one, two, three, four, five of them. So basically what's happened is we've split um, a box of ten into five of these little sticks. What are these little sticks going to be worth each? Well, if we split ten into five pieces, each of them must be worth um, two each. I don't know if you can clearly see my twos there, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, so what I can say here is that each of these are worth 2 and so how much um, is this bar worth in total? It's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 82, 84. So my frequency for the first one is 84. Now um, the second one, again I'm just going to break it down like I did just a minute ago. Um, and so how many um, how many bars have I split this into? Well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Each of them are worth ten, as I found out at the beginning. And so ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty is the frequency for the second one. Now all that we need to do um, is fill out the rest of the histogram. So from 160 to 180. So that's from here up to here. I need um, a frequency of 40, so I'm going to need four of those boxes. Um, so four of those boxes, um, I'm going to have to draw it like that. So that's that one done. Um, and then the second one, uh, from 180 up to 210. Um, so 210 is there. How many boxes do I need now? Well. Um, what I can see is that I need um, 80. I need a frequency of 18. So um, if I was to colour in all, if I was to um, highlight all of these, we can see that that is going to be too many. That's going to take me up to 30. So that can't be right. It's going to have to be less than that. So I'll refer back to what we did up here. We can say that each of these sticks are worth two each. So what I could say is that if I have three sticks. Um, a height of of three of them. That's six up to there from 180 to 190. Six from 190 to 210, and then 
another 6 from 200 um, to 210. So 6, 6, 6, that gives me 18, and so um, the final part will be um, looking something a little bit like that.